Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. <laughs> I wish you could have seen your faces though. I mean, I'll see it eventually. Oh my god. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special, quite possibly the most special, the 300th episode. Episode of the basement yard. Oh man. Number 300. <laughs> Number <laughs> one. <laughs> I worry about your neighbors. Yeah, me too. If, uh, will they get you in trouble? No, nah. they're, they're cool. You own the whole penthouse, so <laughs> <laughs> pretty soon the whole building. Mm, Joey, yep. 300, man. Yeah. 300. And do we have something for the people today? Yeah. Because ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell, I've gotten dressed up. I look amazing. Yeah. I tied my bow tie myself. You did. I'm impressed by that. I will say it took me so long that my arms started to hurt. Mm. I had to put them down. <laughs> Say what you will. Yeah. Uh, but this is the roast of Joe Santagato, baby. <laughs> God, dude. That's fucking loud. That's loud. That is so loud. This is the roast of Joe Santagato uh, and the basement yard. I'm so excited. Joey, are you excited? You are the guest of honor. You uh, didn't get dressed up. No. Uh, but you are going to have a beer. Oh a my warm, God. a warm beer. Why are they warm? Because they've been in here the whole time. <laughs> There's beers in my fridge. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Either way, and we got quite the night open to you. So actually, let me go ahead and start my intro here. I got a script, which you guys won't see. Joey could see it. Josh will see. When I'm he not. Edits I'm it. not gonna look at you. Thank you, um, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And whatever group of people will eventually identify themselves in tw- 10 years, watch this and get upset and offended by this intro. Welcome to the first ever... <laughs> That's how you're starting it? <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be crazy. Welcome to the first ever roast of Joe Santagato. This is already <laughs> more than I expected. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is disgusting. I am your host for the evening, mm-hmm. uh, Frank Alvarez. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, and thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I am excited to be here uh, on the 300th episode of The Basement Yard, you know? Yeah, yeah come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Round of applause. Give it up for him. Round of applause. 300. Wow, Joe. Round of applause for you, man. Thank you. Who would have known? The little wife beater wearing white kid from SDK stuck it out and figured it out, man. <laughs> He figured it out. Uh, he cracked the code. He figured out how to make the most amount of money by doing the least amount of work. <laughs> and that's right. That's right, Joey. Mm-hmm. That's how long you've been around. How long? SDK. Yeah. Uh, uh, Elite Daily. Yep. Facebook. That's where you started doing videos when Facebook was not just alt right sociopaths. <laughs> uh, you know, rock the promo. Wow. 12 years. Yeah. 12 years. Can you believe 12 years you've been making these videos? One more year and maybe Chris Delia will finally want to work with you. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. <laughs> you're, not, so, you're not kidding. Uh, so, uh, Joey, uh, we've put together quite a group of people that wanted to send something to you. A little congratulations. Um I'm you know, so excited for uh, this. I know, I know it might be hard to pretend that you like the attention, uh, but you know, <laughs> sit, sit through and give it up. While I'm doing this, though, I will plug Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash the base for the yard. Uh, support me when I inevitably get canceled and fired. <laughs> This is your uh, last show. This is my last show. This has got to be. Uh, um, so how do you feel, Joe? How do you feel in tonight? I feel better now. Long time coming. We will hear from you more at the end. Uh, but <laughs> long time coming. Oh, my God. 12 I don't years. Know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> do you remember the first video you made? Uh, I do. What was it? Oh, I think you said it on the Patreon episode. Power Hour episode available now, by the way. This plus alcohol, basically. Yeah, not good. <laughs> <laughs> I <You> just... <laughs> Uh, yeah, wait, which one are you referring to? The power hour. Oh, like the actual first one? Or I like... think like the first one that you like put out there for like the world to see. Where you were like, yo, sub. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I do remember that video. Yeah. I watched it pretty recently. And gotcha. it's not good. It's, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Didn't age well. Oh, well, that's true. Aged like milk. 
uh, on that YouTube channel that has over 2 million subscribers that you, you guessed it, don't use. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, Joey, our first uh, host of the night. I mean, boy, what can I say about this guy? Uh, he is someone that you've personally looked up to for a very, very long time. Uh, I, I, I struggle making fun of him because he has and probably will beat the shit out of me at least one more time before I die in a couple of years. Uh, <laughs> uh, and besides uh, anyone with a couple IPAs, he's the only person in the world that Joey will listen to. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Thomas Sanagato. Oh man, I'm so scared. Three. I'm so scared. Okay. Hey, so oh. I like wrote out what I wanted to say, and I was gonna try to perform it. <laughs> Not perform it, but like I was gonna, you know, make it seem like it was off the cuff. And I tried it one time, and I looked so ridiculous that uh, I'm just gonna read it. There so, you go. So uh, here we go. Oh, God. You know, <laughs> when you first started making YouTube videos, I said to myself, man, this is so stupid. The kid isn't even funny. I mean, I would watch the videos, and some of them were funny, but really the only the ones that Keith was in, and obviously any video that I made with Gus then. Uh, but you kept at it, and eventually you convinced me it was a good idea. Um, you know, you turned what was seemingly a hobby into a lucrative career, and shortly after you topped a million subscribers on YouTube, I took my college degree and set it on fire. <laughs> uh, but then you started a podcast. You bought a microphone, you set it up on a plastic folding table in mom's basement, and you talked into it about absolutely nothing of substance for hours every week. And it's I said true. to myself, it's true. You know, you need to be a special kind of narcissist <laughs> to do something like right. this. I mean, if you've ever heard Joey talk about his athletic ability, oh, here we go. he looks at himself through like a very forgiving lens. <laughs> but, I mean, this is next level. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I, I, mean, I was flabbergasted. I was like, no one's going to listen to this. Why would anybody listen to this? Oh, but uh, I was wrong. Uh, again, it turns out a lot of people care about what you have to say, and so for that reason, Danielle and I have decided that we're going to homeschool our children. Because <laughs> there's obviously something very wrong in this society. Um, I have a lot more things to say, I'm sure, uh, but Frank literally told me about this like, hours before he needed it. Yeah, so that's true. That is true. You know, he's really good at his job. <laughs> Um, in all seriousness, though, I mean, I'm super proud of you. Despite all the success you've had, you've always kept a level head. Um, you've always put your family and your friends first. And I know I speak for a lot of people when I say, you know, thank you for taking us uh, on this ride with you. Um, and I also just want to say that even though I never really watched your videos, um, and I can't honestly say that I've ever listened to a full podcast episode, I... Uh, I am your biggest fan, so uh, you got that going for you. Wow. And uh, that's all for me. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> wow. All right, Thomas. Oh, man. Way to go. He hit on some stuff there that pretty spot on. He did a good job there. He did great. Nice. For being told 12 hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> did he say that today? No, I, I hit him up yesterday. I forgot. I'll be honest. I nice. forgot to hit him up. Nice. A couple other people that I like. Greg, he's not in here. What's the What's the volume situation? I don't, I hope that's that that only video. Can you can in your volume is it is it all the way up? All well, it's not. It's not oh, all the okay. way up. All right, good. It's like sixty percent. Okay, we'll just lower it a little bit more, and then I'll crank it here so that we're not like blown okay. out speakers. All right, I'll do it fifty percent. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> he's right about a lot. No, nah, yeah, that's my guy. But that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> What hat is that? Is that like is he? Oh, so yeah. So obviously Thomas, uh, you know, if you put him on camera. He needs to promote. Self-promote. He, he needs to self-promote. So, you know, ironic calling me the narcissist. But he's like, listen, I also have a company that, uh, you know, he does digital marketing. It's called 4-3. And that's the, the logo for it. He also has about 18 logos for it. <laughs> if, you go to his, if you go to my brother's house, there's coasters. Coasters. There's hats. Hats. Baby bottles. Like oh, there's. Baby bottles with his logo on it? Yep. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's stickers all over the back of his car that have different logos up it on wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. 
He's a sticker guy. He's so he's a bumper sticker guy. He's a yeah, but he also you know the stickers. And they're all his own company. No, 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 no. It's like a bunch of different. Stuff. Tell me, he has like one that says like Montauk the end. No, but <laughs> <laughs> no, he has one that says. Uh, you ever see these ones on the back of uh, cars that say Salt Life? Oh, he's, he's that guy. He's well because he was a former surfer. Well, he still surfs. He still surfs. Yeah. Oh, well, man. He, you can't be a former surfer if you never like surfing. What do you well? You like competitively. He goes out there and he kind of just like floats around. (laughs) I didn't know he had a salt life, dude. I see salt salt life life is insane because I live by the the Jersey Shore, which is the whole part of Jersey, apparently. Yeah. Uh, and I see those salt life bumper stickers all the time, and I swear to God, every person I like, you know, when you see a bumper sticker and you're like, I know exactly who's driving this car. Then you see them. That's and you go, yep. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly it. Whenever I see that sticker, I go, whoever's sitting in that car right now stinks. Oh, yeah. Well, stinks. And there's sand everywhere Everywhere. In that car. Yeah. Everywhere in that car. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he well, does. Well, that was good. Well, it's good. That. So, no, I appreciate it, man. That's that's my, my oldest brother. Though. I worried about like what happens when my children end up seeing our videos and maybe like homeschooling them. Well, they're going to be really pissed when we hit a certain amount of uh, patrons and you piss your pants on the show. Well, yeah, that's that's a big problem. <laughs> I've also thought about other things I've said where I've yeah. said, like, I would go gay for Bill Gates. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's gonna that's not going to age well when it comes out that he's, like, touched a, a child or something. Yeah. Which I, I, that's, I think we're months away from that. It, I, I would say it's already come out, but he's put the kibosh on it, you know? <laughs> yeah, but it's eventually he's figured out how to shut it The kibosh. It down. That smells warm. It's not that warm, but it's not good. It's not. It's not good either. Wow. Well, that was great. Thank you so much, Thomas hey, Santa. Tom Santa Go man. check out his digital marketing company that he continues to make money off of us from. Four Three Media. <laughs> Four Three Media. Go check it out. Wow. Folks. Well, our next roaster is someone that a lot of people know of and hear about, mm-hmm. but they've never quite seen. Sure. Uh, and that is. Uh, m- editing extraordinaire, Josh. Josh, ladies oh, and gentlemen, Josh. Josh. Give it a Josh. Uh, you know he has multiple last names, so I don't know what one to call him. <laughs> um, and, and it's only a matter of time before he transitions, and I have to call him by a different first name as well. Oh my god. <laughs> um, you know he says he's not a neo-Nazi, but he actively names his pets after Hispanic foods just to feel better about himself. I think so. That's a hundred percent what he does. Chili and beans. Chili and beans. Yeah. And and like those dogs are. It's like the Wild West. Wait, over is there. chili Hispanic? Chili's a. I thought chili was just like an old fat white dude's thing. Like a white. It, it's like, there's beans in it. There's beans. It's like you know there's a pepper, a chili pepper. That's. It's used in Asian dishes too. Yeah, but this the joke supports what I believe. Let's just go with beans. Let's go with beans. That <laughs> Let's just never. <laughs> oh my god, but, this is this is something. Uh, yeah, a lot of people you guys don't know what Josh looks like, and I promise you, he's exactly what you would think he looks like. Probably, uh, except he's very muscular. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, give it up <laughs> for the one, the only Josh. Josh. All right, there he's editing is. this, so he's gonna make himself look great. Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? Got Beans here with me. Say hi, Beans. Oh, that's cute dog. A few things I want to say. First, let's start off with congrats. I say that to you guys only, just because Joey's too embarrassed to have me in front of the camera. (laughs) True. I'll go fuck myself. Thanks a lot, bro. But yeah, it's the 300th episode. That's a milestone. You guys can inevitably have sex on the show with the way you talk to each other, calling yourselves handsome and hot. Uh, 600. Uh, Joe, your dad's more funny than you. Sorry to break it to you. Been roasted. Frankie, stop calling me a white supremacist. I look more Spanish than you do. Also, just because you're a little bit heavy and you're a father doesn't make it a personality trait. So stop calling yourself that. But, all jokes aside, 300 episodes is a lot, guys. It was fun being on the ride. Well, still on the ride. <laughs> yeah, he's done. Ride. He's quitting. Let's go for 300 more, 600 more, 900 more, four dogs more. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, his personality came out at the end there. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. <laughs> he's just staring at the camera. Yo. That's Josh, ladies that and gentlemen. Actually, that was really good, Josh, Josh. making a point to get on camera one day. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he'll make it. Yo, I'm sweating. You see me? Yeah, it's hot in here. How do you think I feel? Yeah, you're. So- oh, you must be swoosh. Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> you must be swoosh. I'm swooshing. Yeah, dude. Oh man. Yo, <laughs> he fucking flamed your ass. Oh yeah, he got me good. <laughs> yeah. Oh and, and man. And you know what's funny? First of all, look at the freeze frame of his face right now. That every yeah. part of that video tells me like his face right there. He wants to close his camera 
and just beat the shit out of someone. Probably, yeah. Uh, he's a big uh, Muay Thai guy, right? Mm-hmm. That's what he does? He'll fucking flip you over and kick your head off. <laughs> <laughs> he will. He verbally kicked my head off right there. Yeah, that was great. I, I do love think that. being fat is a personality trait. I don't. Why not? Because it's literally not. Uh, you can make it. Like how? You know. I don't think you're fat enough. Which is a little, y'all, I thought you were sweating through your elbow, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a patch. Elbow pad. Oh, cool. Uh, by the way, elbow pads, don't do, what the hell are you doing? Uh, listen, it came with the jacket. What do you expect? A different jacket. Uh, gotta be honest with you, not a lot of jackets fit me anymore. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. I don't think you're fat enough for it to be your personality trait. I think I am. Like Chris Farley. Oh. That was, well, to... Yeah, R.I.P. Yes, so like he's he's up there. Well, was you're in this like gray area? I am. I'm not in like funny fat area. No, but I'm not in like you know a good skinny area. No, I'm like, I'm like in an area where it's just like not, not good. It's just not good. It's disappointing. It's really not nice because I if I put an effort, I might look better. Yeah, but we know that's not gonna happen. Uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> Not anytime soon. We can look like Josh. Yeah. Who here one hundred percent looks like he's from the Vampire Diaries? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's a good show, man. Oh man. Oh. So, well, you, how long has Josh been working for you now? Uh, maybe two years. Wow. I think, maybe two years. Yeah, I think two years. No, Josh is my guy, though. You he, took a uh, gamble with him. Not really. Yeah, he did. No, I told him. You like, told you. Well, you told me before you hired him. Like, yo, he's so stupid. <laughs> okay, now you're lucky, <laughs> motherfucker. No. <laughs> No, I hired Josh because I at the time he like hated his job and I was like I could use an extra set of hands so I kind of, you know, and to his credit he was he kind of just like trusted me to you know, I think it's pretty awkward, not awkward, but like a risk to be like, okay, the degree that I went to college for, I'm just not going to use anymore and I'm going to fucking just jump into this thing that I've never done before. Yeah. I mean, you you literally But knowing the kind of person Josh is, I always knew like this dude is just going to be good at like he's just a fucking workhorse he's always been dedicated to showing us his dick and balls so like you knew he'd be dedicated to work when you yeah i've seen josh's dick more than i've at one point in my life i would say for two summers i saw his dick and balls more than i saw my own for two summers i i i will say this i would say 2015 2016 big big dick and ball summer besides my own that's the next one that's the next dick that i've seen the most yeah and balls yeah and let me say (laughs) <laughs> kind, of, kind, of, kind of impressive. It's kind of not, not, I remember it. That's what I'm saying. He's, yeah. not, he's not working with, you know, like a 12 gauge, but. Yeah, he's not like, you know, he's not knocking down buildings. You wouldn't want him rolling up with that AK, you know? Exactly. Um, you know what I'm saying? But thank you, Josh. He's not batting third, but he's definitely not batting ninth. Bingo. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Clean up like someone else we might hear from in a couple minutes. <laughs> oh my, that's a heavy hitter there. That's a heavy hitter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. I like <laughs> Josh, how he said. And like, Josh is just as much a part of this than anybody as anybody is. I would say, to be honest with you, he, he definitely does way more work than, than I do. Yeah, and definitely more than you. Now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Accumulative. I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that right? I don't know. That's a word that I can't do. Acu- accumul- cumulative. Uh, isn't it accumulative? Cumulative. Accumulative. Accumulative? Accum- accumulative. There you go. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Yeah. Fucking jeez. Not che- That was a little bit hard. Accumulative. I love how he Nailed said it. there, like, I was. it was great being along for the ride. Like, I think he's done. Yeah, yeah. That was his resignation. He's out of here. Yeah. <laughs> he, just, he slipped up. He slipped up. He's gone. He's yeah, gone. It's all right. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, next, I think is going to be a treat for everyone involved. Ooh. Uh, you know, I have been on since last August, last July. Uh, and before me, Ooh. there was an icon of the game that some might say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, gentleman who had been on uh, when uh, we hit episode 200. Yep. And, uh, you know, a man whose claim to fame is not only singing about titties, but having a good old pair of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, well, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the one that people always want to hear from, according to the comment section. What did you just say? Comment. <laughs> comment. The, the person that everyone wants to hear from, the one, the only, Danny Lopriori. Oh, boy. This is loud. <laughs> I 
What up, bitch? Heard it's episode 300 or some shit. Oh my god, did he do a song? I'm supposed to roast your ass. I've been waiting a long time. People have been waiting to hear my side of shit. <laughs> Yo, first off, I suck your dick real fast. Put it in your ass. Maybe lay you down and roll around in grass. Me and you just have a little sex real nice. Oh yeah, maybe once, maybe twice. I can suck your dick. We can do it hard all over this bitch. Oh yeah, how you like that? 300 episodes. You gonna take 300 separate loads of my penis up the butt. And that's how we do it, yeah, that's what's up. Uh, motherfucker, that's how I do. And bitches know I'm coming through with the crew. And we gonna have like one or two dudes have sex with you at the same time. You better like that shit. Because your fucking ass is mine. <laughs> How you like that? <laughs> I just realized this is hit him up. How you like that shit? Well, not the beat. The fuck out of you. Isn't it? People was like, yo, roast Joe. I said, easy. <laughs> I roast the fuck out that bitch, you know what I mean? <laughs> and everybody else over there, too. Hey, yo, Josh, I'll fuck you, too. Frankie, I'll fuck you, too. <laughs> In the butt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll fuck anybody <laughs> at San Agato Studios as a as a fucking company, as a crew. I have sex with all of you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Congratulations on 300 episodes. Bitch. <laughs> podcast on Spotify. <laughs> oh my god! That's fucking, that mean, was an electric ending. That was that the whole bar was electric. Not listen. Very unconventional approach there by Danny. But oh my god! One of a kind, man. Oh my god! That was fucking. Let me tell you, you really are sweating. Over hey, oh, dude, I'm soaking wet. <laughs> Lopeo podcast on Spotify. Oh my god, dude! I think the gist of that is he wanted to let us know he. Yeah, I think I got it <laughs> that he wants to fuck our ass, and I th- I think he would too. <sighs> we if would, we gave him the option. We went on a date two days ago. So oh yeah, how was that? It didn't result in ass fucking. Oh. That's for sure. <laughs> he might not have been thinking about it at that point in time. We I don't know. I think he was. He almost <laughs> he actually almost killed himself on a revel. On a revel? You know the the scooter bikes. Like the like in New York, you could drive around like oh, scooters yeah, yeah, that you yeah, can yeah. rent. You can own them, uh, rent them. <laughs> so we were leaving dinner, and he lived not too far from where we went to dinner. And he gets on one of them, and he goes to take off. <laughs> he goes to take off, and he gets like ten feet, and then the thing just shuts off and locks in place, and he almost flipped over Why? the entire what thing. What happened? I have no idea. Those things aren't those things killing people like left and right. Oh, people are going down. Yeah. <laughs> They ain't, they ain't yeah. lasting too long. That's yeah, why. There's a bunch of a bunch of people going down. Yeah. Yo, he, yo I was dying. I fuck. Well, he almost was too. Yeah. Apparently. It was. He almost crashed right into like some truck or something, but it was hilarious. But yeah, shout out to Danny, man. It was there for a hundred episodes, I think. Uh, just about. I would just say, about a hundred right? episodes. Uh, also part of this uh, too. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah, we I can't un- believe you did this. Unfortunately, we weren't able to hear from Mike Lopriori. Yeah. Uh, but I know he's a big friend. Yes. Uh, and fan of the show. We have all said that he is the funniest low priori of them all. Sorry, Danny. Which is saying a lot. Yeah, that's like saying, you know, that fucking Tom Brady, between Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, like Tom Brady's better. Like, Could have used a better analogy there. You know, sports. <laughs> sports, dude. Uh, but, uh, oh my God, yeah, he sends dude. his uh, congratulations as well. Damn. I almost wonder, because Danny's, that was raunchy. Mike's getting a little raunchier. I assume Mike is oh like I can't say what's up to Mike without him telling me that he would like like I'll fucking come in your butt yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah. It's a very sexual family very sexual family uh good kissers what <laughs> why did you say that <laughs> what did you say what's getting you first the heat or the beer <laughs> the heat got me forty minutes ago Frank <laughs> I'm dying in here and I don't know it's these lights that makes sense that and makes also sense. like the laughter in my in my body is uh. This you, is you're doing well. Great. How you liking it so far? Hey, like oh, I'm, have, Joe Santa I'm having a good time. You're having a good time. Do you want yeah. to do the ad now? Oh yeah, you know what? Do you want to do the ads now? Because we... 
Guys, the ads. We have it. We have an ad that we need to. Uh, do After. So people can't see, yeah, but I, people, it's Keith. It's Keith. There's a picture of Keith. On yeah. The, okay. <laughs> this is amazing, dude. Thank you. Okay. Fuck. All right. <laughs> All right. Today's ad. We only have one of them. Uh, it's for Ultimate uh, Ears Fits. Um, they're the world's most comfortable earbuds. Premium sound, all day comfort. Uh, you get a guaranteed perfect fit in 60 seconds. Um, Put them in your ears and they kind of like morph to your ears, which is a problem that I always have because whenever I have earbud like earphones, if it's not over the ear and it's just earbuds, I have a lot of trouble with them falling out. I don't know if I have like a weird shaped ear or something, but uh, you put these in, they have groundbreaking light form technology. So it fits and it molds to the unique contours of your ear. So it will stay in there. So it's good for working out or anything like that. Uh, you put them in, connect to the app and watch the purple LEDs form, uh, form the earbuds to your unique shape. Um, eight hours of continuous playback on a single charge and up to 20 hours with the charging case. I don't know what's going on over here, but I feel like something's happening and I'm scared. Um, if you try fits and you don't love them, uh, no worries. Uh, it's a 30 day money back guarantee. Plus you'll get free shipping, free returns for <laughs> one year warranty. I really am scared about what's happening over here. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, uh, great earphones. Like I said, they morph to your ear so that they're going to stay in. It's actually a really, it's a weird feeling to have them in and you feel them like sort of morphing to your ear, but it's, it, it's really good. Um, and like I said, very clear, um, you know, music. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, for a limited time, get 15% off of your pair of ultimate ear fits, true wireless earbuds at ue.com slash fits. Just use the promo code basement at checkout. That's 15% with promo code basement at ue.com slash fits. Again, ue.com slash fits for 20, uh, for 15% off by using the code BASEMENT at checkout. All right, boom. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Yo, that thing is loud as shit. I'm, I'm shocked. shocked. Where did you get that? Target. They sell that? Oh yeah, party aisle, baby. Let me get another beer. Oh yeah? Good for you. Oh, good for you. Who was it? Christian Bay. I uh, think I've drank every day this week. Well, that's all right. I mean, when you don't have a job. What are you talking about? I got 300 episodes. Oh, right. That's right. <laughs> do you, so do you remember the first episode of The Basement Yard? I do. What was it? What were you talking about? Who was there? It, it, the, it was in my mom's basement. So we started this podcast. It was in my mom's basement on a plastic table, like Thomas was saying. Well, that's where the, the word basement yard comes from, because that's what your nonna used to call your basement. I <laughs> didn't have a nonna. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, both of my grandmas were grandma. <laughs> um, <laughs> by the way, both dead. <laughs> they have died. Yeah, they're soups dead. Yeah. Do you have a grandma? Both dead. Yo, that's my guy. Mine died first, though. Pretty sure both of them. Always got to be better. Wait, your grandma died before mine? Which, well, one of them died in 2007. Oh, that's early, baby. The other one died <laughs> in 2013. Yeah, you beat me. Yeah. You're they're more dead than my grandma. More dead. Uh, but yeah, my <laughs> my grandma. Why am I talking about my grandma? <laughs> the no, basement yard. The basement yard. No, my, when we were kids, we used to call the basement the basement yard when my, when we, my mom didn't want us out in the front yard and didn't want to watch us because she was a lazy parent. Um, just kidding. Roast. Roast Boom, your got, mom. Got your mom. <laughs> got you, Fuck bitch. You, Liz. <laughs> okay, you're celebrating it. <laughs> Fuck you, Liz, bitch. I've always wanted to say that. Um, no, but uh, yeah, so we called the basement yard. So we, we started the first one I did. Uh, I didn't know what the fuck we were doing, but there was obviously no video or anything. It was just audio, and it was me, Keith, and your brother-in-law, Danny. Danny. Wow. Yeah. He's made a couple guest appearances. I think he's been I, on two. The first the, one, we talked about someone who had a 19-inch dick. Yeah. That's and the I first know, episode. And I know why he's not been on since. Yes. Because that boy, oh boy. <laughs> That's a basement yard, like, golden moment. Let me yeah, tell you. I, I, I don't know where, uh, I don't know what the episode is. Um, but, but there, there was an episode I did with like a bunch of people and he was on and he drank like a, a whole bottle of Jameson. Yeah. Uh, and then it in, wasn't a full giant bottle. I think it was like a smaller bottle, but either way, it was a lot of fucking alcohol of that alcohol. he shouldn't have had. Yeah. And we ended up going to a bar and he threw up in it and left. Your sister was so happy with she him. She was very upset. Uh, she was so happy with him. But anyway, he, uh, but you could just hear him in the background just like, you know, 
like just making noises just and ridiculous. i was like that was we had like a bunch of people on that day it was like me you danny i think boss was there yeah there was a lot of people in the room yeah and that was when the podcast was just like a mess yeah when it was the- that's my first ever apartment it was in a basement that was Oh my fucking god, that scared me, dude. <laughs> basement, and that fucking happens. <laughs> the basement causes rumbles. Yeah. Also, I don't know what I'm saying. Rumblings? Yeah. And tidings? So. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's going to get me every time. I know. That's so, wild. ladies and gentlemen, returning back to the roast, uh, we have a man that people truly love, uh, and I don't understand exactly why, because uh, although he is... Uh, <laughs> Doesn't like hugs. He certainly gives off creepy vibes with that mustache. Mm. The one, the only, the somehow not having diabetes, Keith Santagato. Oh, baby. Gentlemen. Here we so go. Let's hear from Keith Santagato. You good? Yep. Hey, Joey. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents. That's the whole video. That's the whole video. See. Man of, man of few words. Few words. He's like a painting. A, 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 a poet laureate. How they're, how they're like, you know, you look at a picture and you're like, this says a thousand words. Yeah. Keith says five words, but it feels like 10 million words. Hey, Joey, go fuck yourself. Five. Five words. I guessed on that. Nailed it. it you didn't also, I don't know if anyone can really tell, but he's wearing a shirt. And on the shirt... Is that a zebra? It's the body of a zebra that leads up to the neck so that his face looks like the face of a zebra. Oh, my God. Keith, by the way, not eight years old. I was say, <laughs> 31 as of this releasing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. His birthday's his tomorrow. His birthday is tomorrow. Oh, turn up. Wow. Happy birthday, uh, Keith. Yeah, we're going out uh, for his maybe birthday. Maybe get some new shirts. Oh, One definitely. Day. Yo, I'm literally going to go to the house after this <laughs> and rip that in half in front of him. That and any other Billabong shirts he has, you can get rid of. <laughs> because Lord knows he probably has some. He's the love Billabong. Keith, I think, is probably the most requested person we get. Oh, yeah. To come on the show. Keith's a, yeah, he's an interesting character. But also, he's, you know... a one of the key cogs to my success as well. I think in terms of... Some of the most popular series that I have, is he's on it. That's right. What did you say? Um, uh... Mad Libs. Mad Libs, that's right, which is just another talking one. Hey, they're all talking <laughs> ones, babe. <laughs> what do you want us to do? My, I'm, you know, I'm Did I ever tell you one time someone left me a comment? Or, oh, my sister. Me and Keith made a video, mm-hmm. and we, I sent it in like the group chat, like whatever. And then she goes, this would be funnier if the volume was off. How? I was like, do I suck that bad, Shane? How would that be possible? I don't know. But she was like, it's just funny to watch. Keith is, you know, like I remember uh, Jeff Hardy. Uh, People would use the term the charismatic enigma. That is Keith. Mm -hmm. That is so Keith. Yeah. Because I have known him for as long as I've known you. Yeah. uh, And I still can't figure him out. Uh, No one can. And I don't think anyone, I I think that's what he wants. Yeah, he likes to be a mysterious man of yeah. mystery. A mysterious, mysterious man of mystery. That's double mysterious. That is that is very mysterious. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, Keith, you know, wanted to say congratulations. I was honestly shocked that he sent a video in. I was like, there's no way. Like, this makes sense now. Yeah. I th- like, if I, like, I can't picture Keith taking like a minute and like saying a thing. He told me when I asked him, he was like, it's going to be tough. And Keith, so for those of you guys that don't know, Keith loves to tell people that he's busy with work. <laughs> loves to tell. Like, you don't need to fucking ask. I You'd be like, job. yo, Keith. Hey, Keith. Like, um, you want to play video games later? Uh, what day? Because work. What and, day? <laughs> you know, and I'm like, well, just when you can. Yeah. You know, and, and that was what I asked him. I was like, oh, Keith, like, can you do it? And he's like, when? When do you need it by? And I was like, Wednesday the latest. And he goes, Mondays are tough. I didn't ask. <laughs> Yeah. Mondays are uh, tough. Uh, and I might be, you know, exaggerating that a little for the sake of comedy. But, you know. Uh, so, Keith, thank you so much. Thanks, Keith. Uh, if you guys want to see Keith on here, make sure you use uh, the hashtag Keith. That's it. That's the whole hashtag. <laughs> We're not going to look it up or anything. We're but not going to force it. Just fucking <laughs> just uh, check it so out. So, moving on. Oh, now, my God. I, I think there are few characters that are born from the show and just the show. Right. Keith has always been Keith. 
Keith's Keith. Keith's an icon. He became he was a legend growing up. You know, outside of it, he's a streamer. Streams on Twitch. Yeah. Myself, same thing. I've been legendary my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> but there are a few people that have become. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were <laughs> farting, dude. I was going to be like, what? Okay, go ahead. There are a few people that have become popular as much as Ryan Lynch. And I mean, what can I say about this man that has not been said about every other fat fucking piece of shit from New Jersey? <laughs> I mean, he's wearing a Vineyard Vines t-shirt. Of course. Uh, and he is 100% Also, committed. kind of a fashionista. Uh, he is a bit of a fashionista. Yeah, he is. Uh, he also When we went out for your bachelor party, he wore that one button up that was pretty you know, intense. Did he? Not something that I could wear. It was just a brown button up with like a cowboy riding a horse or something on it. Oh, yes. With like was, mountains. Yes, that way it was like a mountainscape with like a single stallion on it. Yeah, it looked like a, a, a picture that would be hanging in a like a motel. Yeah. But it was on his shirt. It was certainly on his shirt. And I have to admit, a little jealous of it. He pulled it off. He also went with the tuck, the blue jeans. Tucked it into jeans. Tuck it right into blue jeans. He was feeling it. And we also, at the end of the night, we shut, basically as the bar shut down, were you there when we started um, Ryan Lynch for president chant? I'm pretty sure I was face down. You were not there that night. That is yes. correct. That, that was the last night. Well, whether he's pretending he has a future in the radio industry or pretending that people are laughing with him and not at him, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Ryan Lynch. Oh, God, I can't wait for this. Wow. I am so excited to be here tonight roasting the great Joe Santagato. The podcast host with the most. I don't have clothing with his own name on it. That's true. It's like, we get it, Joe. Just because your mom had to write your name in your underwear doesn't mean you <gasps> have every t-shirt, sweatshirt, shorts, sweatpants, socks, hat that you can find. You know, I actually heard they were interested in making Santa Gato Studios thongs. They even released a few prototypes, but uh, they kept getting bought up by old men. It's interesting. <laughs> As a What's that? kid on the internet making videos for old weird men. And now, 10 years later, he's an old weird man on the internet making videos for little kids. Full circle. You've nice. really done it, Joe. <laughs> You've really done it. You know, a lot of people don't know this. But Joe was actually one of the first people to have Wait, wait, COVID. back it up, back it up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that pause, he's like, well. Why is he in slow mo? To have COVID. Okay, back at it, back at it, back at it, back at it. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but Joe was actually one of the first people to have COVID. Yeah, it's true. He hasn't had taste in over six years. <laughs> I'm also really excited to hear what some of the other roasters have to say tonight. Maybe this will be the first time Frank makes someone other than Joe laugh. It might be. I like it. Joe, I it's, it's pretty incredible all the success you've had. I mean, you built this entire empire off being the second funniest person on all of your shows. <laughs> so, not everything Joe's done has turned out to be a success. But Wingtel Mobile? It's actually the fastest growing cell phone provider amongst drug dealers and human traffickers. <laughs> Wingtel Mobile. You've never heard of us. And that's the point. <laughs> all right, right? Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Ryan right? Ryan Lynch 2020. I mean, oh, man. what can you say? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what can you say? Stop doing I'm that. I'm not gonna stop. Oh man! He made some great points there. He did. He truly did. That was funny. I mean, you know, the guy's got a point. The guy's got points. Uh, you uh, you did start off as a young boy, making videos for probably old men. That I don't know. And a lot of young girls. That at that point. And then you've evolved. not for them. That was a byproduct of. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you really... I, was, was I making videos about fucking Blue's Clues and Justin Bieber? <laughs> I wasn't doing that shit. Well, you were making videos about fucking sluts. That's not for young girls, Frank. Uh, is, it, is it not? No. One of the first videos I remember being in with you was... Uh, we did a video of me saying Harry Potter. In ten different ways. Yeah. Uh, and this, <laughs> I got I got made fun of for that. I know. And on my college campus. Was he making fun of you? No, 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 no. 
know. He was I didn't know him at that point in time. Oh, okay. Uh, he was still just a you know bright eyed young virgin, you know, living elsewhere. Now what is he? A big mustache, old virgin, and like with dull eyes, probably. Yeah. <laughs> fucking glassy eyes yeah oh man ryan lynch man thank you so much for being on appreciate you the first and last time you're getting lynch on this uh, podcast <laughs> yeah honestly having lynch on would, would probably be funny he's moving back up to the northeast apparently i know we're gonna you guys are gonna be seeing more of lynch that's for certain for better or for worse let me tell you yeah like on my instagram probably we're gonna remember when we went out to a bar in connecticut and we made him give a speech uh yeah, was that, this is a karaoke bar, wasn't it? No, this was a regular bar with like a quiet out, like a backyard outdoor place. Oh oh oh! With the ducks and the drinks. Yes yes, the rubber ducky drinks. And we were like, "Yo, just get, give a speech." He was like, "Okay." Uh, if, <laughs> if if peer pressure had legs and a mustache and was overweight, <laughs> it would be Ryan Lynch. Ryan crushing it. Uh, well. R.I.P. Actually, this is probably the last we'll ever see of Tennessee Ryan, Nashville Ryan. That's true, uh, Nashville Ryan. R.I.P. Yeah, which he's coming back up to the Northeast now. now he's now he's Manhattan Ryan. Wow, what is he living in Manhattan or is he gonna be living in Jersey? He's gonna be living in Manhattan. That's dangerous. Yeah, that's dangerous. He's gonna take over. Honestly, oh fucking boy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a four and a half video, four and a half minute video coming next. Four and a half minutes. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. I don't, he he had a couple drinks. This one I'm this one I'm worried about. He had a couple drinks before he did this. So wait, when did he send you this? Uh, late last night. Oh boy. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, was I with him yesterday? Uh, I think you were. Uh, he's an icon that is often spoke about in the basement yard for his incredibly small penis but big ego. <laughs> Sorry, I, I think mi- you messed that. I up. mixed it up. I mixed it up. That's supposed to be incredibly big penis and small ego. Yes. Uh, we wait. Pre- I think you messed that up as well. We will hear from a man uh, later that openly sucks dick, but now let's hear from one that will for- <laughs> that will forever do it while hiding in his craft beer shirt filled closet. <laughs> as looks apparently run in the family, it's clear that brains don't. Uh, <laughs> our next presenter of the night, the one, the only, Smokey Pete. Smokey Pete. Oh fuck. So, Frank told me that the 300th episode of The Basement Yard was coming up, and that you guys wanted to be roasted for it. Oh, no. Great. Be more arrogant. (laughs) So, when Frank desperately texted me for content, I checked, and I don't follow The Basement Yard on Instagram, which is amazing. And I went to do it because I was like, ah, you know, let me, you know, do my friends a favor, and checked out the thumbnails and the captions, and immediately thought, I am way too good for this. (laughs) But apparently... (laughs) Hundreds of thousands of people disagree with me. Yeah. So this is where we're at. This <laughs> fucking planet. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, this gets hammered. So I'll start with Frank, who obviously pulls the majority of the weight on the show. And has it. Too. Physically. Yeah. <laughs> First encounter with Frank was in college. We went to UNH, not the real one. And he DM'd <laughs> me on Facebook saying, yo, where are all the parties at? That's true. So immediately I deleted it and went back to continuing my life without him existing in it, which was phenomenal. Um, But to go back to some main points with him, um, Frank lives in southern New Jersey. (laughs) Um, Frank, you have on multiple times told me that you have the most fuckable body out of all of our friends. I do. No, you don't. We know what you look like. (laughs) I love that he was like a part of that just now. According to LinkedIn, you've worked at Target... For, forever, your entire adult life. Right. You still defend your hair from 2017. It was terrible. It was great. Terrible. Um, you're responsible for multiple lives at this point, and you're still way, way, way too into the WWE. <laughs> so I know I'm supposed to typically, you know, end a rose with something positive and like, hey man, like you're doing great, appreciate you, everything's awesome. <laughs> Where do I go from here? <laughs> what? I, you're, you're an adequate father, it appears. So, cheers to Frank. Oh, man. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous nice. now. Um, so anyway, to go on to Joey. Oh, no. Um, you've come a really long way from being a weird, creepy nine-year-old that I didn't want to be around and actively didn't like. Um, because now I can have those opinions from the passenger seat of your 2021 Black murdered out Range Rover Sport with right. a refrigerator in it that you have been just monstrously humble about. Like, you've only been more humble about all your merch, which just is painted in your last name. Oh my so, god. Again, super appreciated. We all love it. 
Um, and this was tough because I, I, I kept thinking, how do I make fun of the third wealthiest person of our friend group? <laughs> it, was, it was difficult. One thing, I was really glad that you got into fitness and got a whoop that really like, I was like, oh, awesome, no. let's fucking do this. I love it. Um, so now, every time your heart beats just one extra beat per month, you can go to the doctor, get tested for colon cancer, diphtheria, everything else that you feel like is probably wrong with your body. <laughs> it's also been very fun watching you egregiously spend money moved by geos and securities. And no one knows more about deep seed and securities than someone who reads all the books on the planet that you are very, very public about. <laughs> so... This one will actually am oh something positive because I'd see you at Christmas and like our moms are friends and all that. Oh man! Um, but it's been super incredible watching you grow this brand to what it is. Um, I remember, you know, whatever it was, eight, nine, ten years ago when you were just starting getting traction. Me being like, "Hey, maybe he's onto something," and then now having friends from high school, college, reach out, see on the streets, whatever it may be, being like, "Hey, your cousin's hysterical. He's doing great." I'm like, "Yeah, man, I." absolutely disagree but it's much appreciated um what you've created is honestly phenomenal and i always always look forward to what's next in your plans because again you're just an incredibly goal-driven person and you motivate me to be better in all those ways it's just it's been really really fun to watch so anyway it's a little bit late on a wednesday and I got to go to bed because I have a real job and I don't just talk about farting <laughs> nuns and ghost penises on the internet. <sighs> so, it's been fun. Later, guys. Oh, my God, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, drop in the mic. Smoke your pee. Honestly, fuck this kid. Yeah, well, why are we friends with him? You have to be because your parents are related. related. But, like, he, he's doing a really good job. A four-minute roast that was, like, now I he, wasn't falling asleep. He can add some sense of humor to his yeah. repertoire, yeah. which is dangerous. Yeah, fuck off, though. Because his personality has always been a C-plus at best. Honestly, though, I think it's mostly because he wrote it down. Because had, had he, like, this doesn't shine through, like... On a day to day, that took him guys. Look, I don't want to get your hopes up. All yeah. right, you're gonna meet Pete one day, and you're gonna be like, "This kid's like cool, but like dude. not the same person." First of all, he's five foot four. Just want to make sure I establish <laughs> that. A lot of people don't realize his muscles are overcompensating for the fact that he's fucking tiny. Uh, he's gonna be so mad. You said he's five four. Well, I, I mean, at that point, you're five inches though. I mean, I'll give him five five, maybe. But no, no, no. Uh, what is he though? I'd say five five. No, <laughs> you think he's five five? Yeah. <laughs> I spent a lot of time with him. I'm telling you, he's 5'5". Five five. Okay. Yeah. Keep I'll tell, taller, I'll keep taller than him. I don't think so. I think he is. I don't know. Uh, and you Anyway. Know, just the personality you saw there. Really, really did a good job with the writing. Yeah. You know, he's got a future in that. Uh, Maybe hire him. Yeah. You could be out of a job. Well, hold on. Now I know if... if you would never put someone in the show that was better looking than you. <laughs> you would never. Oh, man. Why not? Uh, because? But then I get to be like the fucking, you know, I get to be self-deprecating. I mean... <laughs> Even though I am. I was going to say, I don't <laughs> think that you, you, you have to stretch too much to be there. Really? Yeah. I do. Oh, okay. I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, well, I'm, I'm really shocked that Pete... Pete Pete's been on the uh, uh, podcast once or twice. Huh? Has he? Well, we argued... Uh, he, was in, he was in a video. He was on an episode because we argued uh, like food with him or cereals with him. That's right. At, that was at the Long Island City apartment. Wow. Yeah, that was some time ago. That was. That was. Wow. 25-foot ceilings. Mm, they no, were 12. No parking. That's true. That place was cool but sucked. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I, I couldn't stand up in your bedroom. It had a slanted roof. It was... Uh, That's because I used the, the master bedroom of the house for the studio. Really? That's the master? The brick wall room? Mm-hmm. That's stupid. It's the biggest room in the house. Yeah, but the master bedroom is supposed to have a bathroom, and that's what the one that you did take had. Oh, yeah. No, that was like an attic space that they turned into uh, whatever. Well, either way, I can tell you that when you went to your next place, <laughs> getting to you was so much fucking easier. Yeah. Uh, and this is, this is... That was really good. I was really surprised. I, was, I have to admit. I'm impressed. You think you got it worse than me, though. I did. I got it. <laughs> he at least said nice shit about but me. But he's been waiting. He he tr he clamors for the opportunity to roast me. Big time. I stand by. I think I do have the most fuckable. Like I think I'm. I am overall the most fuckable of all of our friends. Mm -hmm. As you say that, the 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 sign comes oh, down. Oh man, <laughs> the sign that says you did it. 
came down. It's like, no, nope, we're not yeah, doing that. Back up or just leave it? Yeah, it's fuck it. That's a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a great example that's, of what's that's, happening that's here. That's really showing how everything is going. Exactly. So um, where are we for time? All right, 50 minutes. We're fine. We got one more person we got to hear from. We're good. And, uh, you know, I, I did say that we were going to hear from someone that openly sucks dick. Mm-hmm. Uh, or d- does he? Oh, uh, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I would hope. I would hope. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, but uh, a, a friend of the show, uh, and that is Pat McCullough. Did I say that right? I don't know. His name is Barstool Pat. Barstool Pat. Uh, from uh, the Out and About Pod. Formerly known as Gay Pat. Formerly known as Gay Pat. But, you know, PC. Um, that's right. I don't want to... Ever, ever, he, he's more than just gay. He's also unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Pat used to be called Gay Pat at Barstool, which... And then they figured out about Dave Portnoy. Doing what? Stuff. You don't get that far up the chain without, you know... Oh, you think he's touching and, and you know, he's a big cat. I don't know. I don't know either of them. I know Pat. <laughs> yeah. Pat's a really nice fucking funny guy. Uh, and he wanted to send something. Uh, the last person we will be hearing from before we hear from the man, the myth, the legend himself. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Barstool Pat, oh, God. as he commonly refers to himself. Joe, my king, congratulations on 300 episodes. Um, when we first met on Grinder a couple years back, I didn't know who you were. <laughs> I didn't know what you stood for. I didn't know what your job was. I liked you just for you. And that was the start mm. of our relationship together, our gay relationship together. Oh, here we go. Romantic relationship together. That's right. Um, and it evolved into a beautiful thing. You know, we, we've had appearances on each other's shows. I've been on with you and Frank, with you and Danny. You've come over to my place, sometimes late at night, sometimes in the morning. Sometimes <laughs> you've come into the office. Um, you've come a lot. And we've done that <laughs> together. And it's been a wonderful beautiful thing that we've shared so i'm sending this video to you right now just to say thank you not only for being a friend but for being a lover and one that i will never (laughs) ever forget so joe here's to 300 episodes and here's to many more days and even many more nights together i love you congratulations cheers to the next 300 (laughs) <laughs> I'm leaving this freeze frame. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Uh, for- Ironically, that's that looks like a, a a freeze frame from like a a racist Karen video. Yes, a hundred percent. You know, I mean, all you need to do is just just insert a couple racial slurs in this picture, and it'll pop up. It fits. Yeah. Uh, what what happened to him there? Did he have a little? I don't know what he was talking about. He, he had a little, like, butterfly stitch or something. I mean, he may have gotten punched. He might have gotten punched. I don't know. That, that You know, I don't know what year it is, but Did I know that, that used to Tim happen. Cook? Who's, the certain, who's the current Apple guy? Tim Cook? Tim, Tim Cook? Yeah. They, they pulled Grindr off the App Store. Did they? Yeah. Why? Fucking, too much sex? Those, uh, you know, homophobic Bigots. pieces of shit. Bigots. You know, how dare they? Yeah. Uh, but Pat, good friend of the show. Yeah, Pat's great. He uh, let me use his Grindr account, actually. Did he? Yeah, and it's, for what you can you can search uh, on Grinder based upon like body type. Oh, so like hunky, hairy. Like there's no like you want to talk about like PC culture and like me to be accepting of whatever. Like within the gay culture, it's like you have a, a thing about you. Like you're a cub, you're a otter, you're yeah. a you're an uh like a jock. Yeah. Or you're just average, or yeah. you're a twink, and you can search just for that. Oh, so I can like go in there and be like, yo, hello, my name is Frank. I'm a Twinkie Twank. Well, uh, you can't be a tw- You're not. You have to be. I think I'm a twunk. I don't. I think I'm a twunk. I think you're more of like a, like a cub. Why? Why would you say that? Because you are you got some stuff to you and you got a little hair. Well, that's why. A, a, a Twinkie. A, no, you're a not twink, a twink, bro. A hunky, a hunky twink. That's a twunk. No. I think I am. He told me I was a twunk. Should, you can't we, be a twunk. Should we call him and ask him? No, he already told me. Should I ask him? I'll text him right now. No, saying, don't. Am I a twink? No, 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 don't, don't. Okay. No, you're not a twink. Oh. I hate to break it to you. A oh. twink is like a little, like teenage, like little, like he looks like a teenager, kind of. Pat? No, like I'm saying, like someone who's like 25, but they're like super skinny and like you know a little like I guess. pathetic. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't believe Pat said it in a video. That's fucking amazing. That is fucking hysterical. Oh, man. Uh, dude. So, thank you, Pat. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I now get the pleasure of introducing everyone's favorite YouTuber when they got their first pube, Mr. Joe Sandigato. 
Uh, Joe and I, as some of you guys know, most of you guys probably know. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, you almost died. I was just, we've known each other for 25 years. Almost came to an end right there. <coughs> yeah. uh, which means I have been endlessly living in his shadow for a quarter of a century now. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that the Joe that we see here on the Basement Yard or, or on Other People's Lives, the other show that you do uh, currently host with Greg Dybeck, uh, not the same person you are in real life. Uh, on air, you're brash, you're a know-it-all, uh, you virtue signal, you gaslight me, you're thinking, <laughs> I've never been right about anything. And, um, well, actually, no, that does sound kind of a lot like yeah, who yeah, you yeah. are in real life. Uh, the fruits of Joey's labor were planted as seeds very, very early on in his life. Uh, see, as kids... Uh, we would come up with hilarious ideas, uh, and then uh, he would exploit his attention-seeking friend, me, uh, and make an idiot out of himself for everyone else's entertainment. Uh, seems like not much has changed. Very Jeffrey Bezos of you, oh. which you're on your way. <laughs> um, we believed you were. Uh, we believed we were really funny at a very, very early age, uh, and we were right. You know, at least you were. According to the comments section, people are still figuring out if I'm funny or not. <laughs> Uh, when you started making videos, uh, you were living this outlandish fantasy that uh, we wish we could have been doing together. Uh, but honestly, I, I didn't see the longevity in it. Uh, as I went to become a whore for the collegiate sewer of our country, <laughs> you honed your craft. You put in time. You really researched what, peop uh, uh, what people loved. Uh, and I mean, wh why else would you have made 16 videos about the people of Walmart? <laughs> uh, you know, Joe, you often talk about how much you idolized Chris Farley growing up, but even I wish you would have followed through on that more because even Farley knew when to go out when he was on top. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, all these years later, here you are, standing on top of this conglomerate that you have created. Conglomerate. You're not only a personality in front of the camera, but working behind the camera to suck up the talents of others like some vampire gasping for their last breath. <laughs> And you put your name on everything. I mean, the only next logical move is to run for president. Uh, and uh, I'm sure we could find a video of you saying, grab someone by the pussy if we look hard enough to you. <laughs> well, hopefully the next time you slap Sanagato on something, it's a dildo so you can fuck someone else for a change. <laughs> Lately, you've been expressing your discomfort with social media, which is so funny because not only have you literally built an empire off it, but you are the most basic bitch I've ever met. <laughs> I mean, you can't read a book... Walk a mile or do anything without bragging about every page and every step. Uh, you bought a Rolex with blood money and were able, to, <laughs> were able to show it off without anyone questioning where it came for. Uh, but seriously, Joey, 300 episodes of The Basement Yard, uh, in the time that I've known you, uh, you are not only the funniest person, but one of the kindest in front and behind the camera. Uh, you are my best friend. I will cherever, uh, forever cherish our friendship. <laughs> Uh, and I am uh, the happiest person in the world uh, to be your friend, your only friend, and nobody else. Well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I give to you the man, the one, the only, Joe Sanagato. <laughs> That did not work. <laughs> Everybody's gonna pay. Cause the million dollars. This fucking piece of shit. Where'd you buy it? Target. <laughs> there you go. Alright, we're covered in money here. Well, say something, Joey. On 300 episodes of The Basement Yard, let the people know. Well, usually, usually uh, on these episodes, or on roasts or whatever, the. You roast the, everyone who's roasted you, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have anything prepared. But had I had anything prepared, it would be bedtime for you all. Uh, but <laughs> no, I just want to say that. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing, dude? <laughs> um, 300 episodes is kind of crazy. I didn't know that I would be doing this for that long. I mean, I started the podcast as like a side business kind of thing. Um, it just seemed like a logical step and it was a lot of fun to be able to hear yourself through headphones. You ever like talking to a microphone and hear yourself on headphones for the first time? I hate it. I really? I hate it so much. Like, I, I hate what I sound like so much. I know that people don't like their voice, but I think talking into a microphone and listening to it. At the there it is. 
Nailed it. <laughs> uh, I think hearing it for the first time, I you're like, oh, you this is card. fun. You got me a card? Yes. Success. Can I? Is there something written in it? Yeah, sure. Is there money in it? No. What, you want more of my money? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Joe. Success isn't what you drive, although a Range Rover helps. <laughs> it's true. It's where you're going. Miami, Colorado, Fire Island. <laughs> it's all places you go. Um, it's how you see yourself. It definitely is. Uh, it's not about who, who you know. It's about who you are. <laughs> then you wrote, wow. <laughs> and, by and you are, by definition, by every definition of the word, a success. Congratulations, graduate. <laughs> <laughs> it had to fit somehow. 300. This is what you wrote now. 300. Wow. Thanks for the laughs and the painful realization that the American collegiate system is pointless. Love facts too. And then you drew a smiley face with dollar sign eyes. That's what I used to. That was my tag in sixth grade. That no, it wasn't. Face. Yeah. That one? Yeah, I used to write it on my middle school, like in marker. Like on the school? Like, like on the in, side of the in school? places on it. Like in, in the hallway? Yeah, desks. That's awesome, dude. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting the show. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I'm currently working on. Uh, that I hope everyone enjoys, but 300 episodes of The Basement Yard. I fucking love this show, and, you know, I mean, I've talked about it before in episodes where I was, like, doing videos for a very long time, and then I was like, oh, man, I don't know how I feel about this, so I stopped doing it. Uh, but this just feels like something that I could do for the rest of my life. It's a lot of fun just talking and just shooting the shit, especially with, you know, this fucking asshole sitting next to me uh, where me and Frankie, when we were younger, would always talk about uh, doing like SNL or being on some show like uh, entertaining people. So the fact that we get to do it now, is just like a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. This was fucking incredibly hilarious to me. <laughs> well, it was all about you, so it was your favorite. <laughs> it ain't never gonna stop. That's all I got to say. Ladies and gentlemen, go check out the Patreon, San Agato Studios. We got some great stuff coming at you. Other people's lives. We love you. To another 300, ladies and gents. Thank you. Dollar man. Always it's his way. <laughs> getting, uh, what's that called? Copyright. Demonetized. Yeah. 100%. Getting shut down. Watch it while you can, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We'll see you guys next time.